Hi, my name is Caroline, and in this video, we're going to talk about object detection with the Raspberry Pi AI camera. This has been launched by the Raspberry Pi people. It is an official Raspberry Pi camera. It connects to either a Raspberry Pi 4 or a Raspberry Pi 5. I'm using a Raspberry Pi 4 in this tutorial, and this is the box that it came in. The price tag is still on here uh, because I bought this at my local micro center. So this video is not sponsored. For this video, you will need a Raspberry Pi 4, which is what I'm using, or a Raspberry Pi 5. Uh, you will need this Raspberry Pi AI camera kit. This uh, blue stand that you see here, I 3D printed this. I will link to the specific STL model that I used. Uh, this is completely optional, but it just made it a little bit easier so it didn't kind of lay on the ground or you know just ha had a little stand for my camera module. Now let's get started. The items that came with my Raspberry Pi AI camera kit were, of course, the Raspberry Pi AI camera. It came with two camera cables. This is a standard cable, and then there is a standard to mini cable, and this is for a Raspberry Pi 5, and I brought my own Raspberry Pi 4 and I also 3D printed a little stand and I will link to that. It also came with this uh, white plastic piece as well. To attach the camera and display cable, it does come attached, but the way you wanna attach it is the dark part faces out, the leads uh, touch the board on the Raspberry Pi camera and then same thing with your Raspberry Pi device. Uh, the leads are facing the white part and the dark part faces the other side right here. So I'm just going to go ahead and uh, plug that in. And you want to snap this down, hold it in place. I'm going to thread it through on the side of the board for the Raspberry Pi. And there we go. That is my setup for the Raspberry Pi. Of course, you'll need a monitor, all your good accessories, and then of course you want a fresh copy of the Raspberry Pi operating system on a little micro SD card, uh, which I am inserting right here. We are starting with a fresh copy of the Raspberry Pi operating system. This is the default desktop. Let's open up my Chromium here, web browser, and for the sake of time, I've already opened it, and I'm gonna go to the website, the URL on the back of the box, raspberrypi.com slash products slash AI dash camera. And go to this and it takes you to the marketing page for this Raspberry Pi AI camera. And I'm gonna scroll down until I get to documents. And I'm gonna go to, there's a product brief and there's a getting started guide. So I'm gonna hit getting started, right click, open it in a new tab. And here's the page that it opens, the Raspberry Pi documentation for the AI camera, how to install the Raspberry Pi camera. It is the same as all the other Raspberry Pi cameras. If you go to this, it's gonna go into the prerequisites, which you need to make sure that you do before you can get the camera working. We want to ensure our Raspberry Pi is on the latest software. We're going to make sure we update this. So I'm gonna copy to clipboard and I'm gonna open up a terminal and I am going to right click, paste, and I'm gonna do a full upgrade update. Now I just did this right before I started this video, so it shouldn't have any updates. It should be great. That will go very quickly, just for the sake of making this video go a little bit faster. Next, we want to install the IMX500 firmware. It gives you the command right here, so I'm just gonna copy and paste that. Right click and paste and hit enter. Do I wish to continue? I'm gonna hit the Y key, enter. Yes, I do want to continue. Great, it is done. This command, it installs all the firmware files required to operate the IMX500 sensor. And now we are going to reboot our Raspberry Pi. We have rebooted our Raspberry Pi with the sudo reboot. We are back to the website that we were on, Raspberry Pi documentation, accessories, AI camera. And now we can run some example applications. And we're going to test the object detection module. We have already installed object detection. 
with our previous command. How do we get object detection started? Well, we need this command. I'm going to copy to clipboard. I am going to open up a terminal, right click. I'm going to paste the command. RPI cam, hello, and I'm gonna hit enter, and it's gonna pop up a new screen. And this is the camera view that is going to pop up. But let's start with, can it detect a water bottle? And here is the bottle. Okay, excellent. So that is my water bottle. Next, let's try an apple. And it is 67% confident that is an apple. Let's try a banana. Yes, that is a banana. Can it detect this bowl? 73% confidence that that is a bowl. And if I put the banana in front of it, then it knows it's a banana. And it kind of forgets about the apple and the bowl, but that's okay. Let us try a coffee mug. And it says cup, 73%. Let's see if we can get this bowl in here. There's a bowl, 77 to 73% confidence. 67 to 73% confident that's an apple. And 77% confident this is a cup. It doesn't say mug. Hmm, are there other cups that we could try? Let's try a wine glass. And the AI camera is 62% confident this is a wine glass versus a cup at 81%. And yeah, the wine glass kind of goes away at that point. You're probably wondering why does it prioritize some objects over other objects? How do I know what it can detect? Why does it call my coffee cup instead of a mug? Why does it call a cup? great questions. I am going to stop the model here to show you how the model works. Now, if you would like to see the GitHub and understand what objects it can and cannot recognize in the IMX 500 model on the getting started guide here for the AI camera, there is a link. It's kind of close to the top and it's for the Pi camera too. We are going to go over to the GitHub page for the Pi camera too. We're going to click examples. And in that we can uh, look at IMX 500, which is the model we're using. And then let's look at assets and let's look at Coco underscore labels dot text. And here is a list of things that it can recognize. Number one is person. Every time I was inserting or removing an object, you could see that it thought my hand was a person. And then there was the bottle. There's a bowl, banana, apple. So I tried to use items that it could recognize, but there are lots of items it couldn't recognize. This is what the model has been trained on, being able to recognize these specific items. And your next question is probably, hey, I want to add my own item to this. How do I get it to recognize my own item or be able to differentiate a coffee mug from a regular cup? That's a great question. So where I would recommend that you look is model deployment over here on the AI camera page. And it talks about how you can train your own model, deploy a new neural network model. So first you've got to provide a neural network model. Wow, that is a great step one there. Then we've got to quantize and compress the model so that it will work on our little Raspberry Pi, convert the compressed model into IMX 500 format, and then package the model into a firmware file that can be loaded at runtime onto the camera. That's a little bit more advanced than I'm planning to go to in this tutorial, but just wanted to show you an example of how the Raspberry Pi AI camera works. Now for my favorite part of this tutorial, we are going to see if my AI camera can recognize certain animals. Now, one of the animals was a zebra. I don't have a zebra ready to go here, but I do have a zebra photo on my tablet, and I'm going to put up a picture of a zebra on my tablet. And yes, it recognizes that there is a zebra. It also calls my tablet a laptop because that's the list of items that it can recognize. Next, you want to see an actual live animal probably. And there it is 73 to 67 percent confident that's a cat. I'm just throwing her a few treats. And there is my cat 90 percent, 80 percent, 70 percent confident that is my cat. And let's see if it can recognize a tiger. Okay, it thinks it's a zebra. Okay, a uh, tiger is not on this list here. Let's try another animal that it may or may not recognize. Uh, maybe a giraffe would might be easier to recognize. And now it is recognizing a giraffe. This is a photo of a giraffe from my tablet, which is now a TV at 67% confidence. Try toothbrush. Okay, there's my cat. 
Checking out this toothbrush I'm holding up. Let's see if it can recognize an image of a dog. Yes. It can recognize a photo of a dog. And there you have it, the Raspberry Pi AI camera with object detection. We were able to detect my cat and my coffee mug and a banana and various objects. I hope you found this useful. If you did, please like and subscribe to my channel, the Caroline Dunn channel, and I'll see you next time. Bye now.